Okay, hopefully this is uh, recording okay, because I pretty much got one shot at this. So uh, this is, uh, the reason I'm redoing these is because this is the hardware that comes with it. And uh, as you might be able to see, it's a little hex head kind of screw. And if I go down in here, and there, that's bottomed out. And uh, so I grab one of the bus bars here. Oops. Okay. And you can see that, yeah, the bus bar will still fit under it. So that's bottomed out. So in order to use this, um, without it bottoming out, so what I have is I'd have my like BMS lead and then my, uh, my other one. But the problem is, is that this is almost ready to bottom out. So I actually, I need something under there, a, a washer, which, you know, comes with it. So, uh, so I'd be like, okay, so I'll throw that little washer right under there and then go like that. And there you go. Okay. So here's the, here's, here's the problem. And I, 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 I think it's like nine inch pounds is what they say the max is, but, uh, the hardware is just so freaking small. And can you see? Yep, you can see my hand. So I'm tightening this up. And I'm not feeling... Yeah, I'm I'm barely putting any pressure on there. It's still... It's yielding in there. I can feel it's It's, you know... Is it tight? Eh, yeah. Sort of. No. See? It's really not. And... I'm still, yep, I just felt it go right there. That's the problem. Is that, yeah, that that's done. So in order to get any sort of a, yeah, you can see, well, maybe you can see, I'll show you, but there. Uh, is it going to focus? Yeah, those threads stripped right out. No good. The aluminums are really soft. So, needle coil is the only solution I could come up with. All right. Yeah, I, I you know, it, it just, it wasn't, yeah, even with this small of a lug, uh, this is 8 gauge. That's small of a lug, and, and it's still, yeah. Because you don't have enough depth in there, and you don't have enough diameter. Uh, and, of course, the aluminum is super soft. So, there you go. My two cents worth. Greetings and salutations, fellow YouTubians. My name is Terry Andrews, Jr., also known as the J5 Guru. Um, this series of videos, I think they'll end up being three of them. Um, yeah. This is one of those odd mall ones I'm doing here. This video is actually the beginning and the end of the videos. Uh, if that'll make sense more in a minute. So anyhow, uh, so here we go. Um, modifying uh, BLS brand um, 105 amp hour lithium iron phosphate uh, prismatic cells. Modifying the tops. Why? Because the tops that come with them, and you'll see if you hang in there, um, you will see that the, the tops are, are just anemic. Um, the, the hardware, I, I, I forget what millimeter size it is, but yeah, a little, you, you really can't get the, the connectors tight. And if you, you go a little bit too far, it, it just yields. They, they strip right out on you. Um, and so I tried retapping it to like a six or an eight thirty two. Uh, again, it stripped out again. I even went as high as a uh, uh, a quarter twenty imperial size, and those held. But uh, during the process of taking it on and removing it, it, it was gulling the you know uh, destroying the internal threads. And I'm like, this is not a long term solution. I need to fix this now before these things get so bad that I can't helicoil them, uh, which is what I did. I helicoiled them. 
So um, if you look here, you may be able to see the uh, thread hole size difference, uh, if I angle my camera more, uh, between the quarter 20 and the, uh, I, I think it's like a maybe an 8 millimeter. Um, maybe. <laughs> Let me, uh, geez, I don't know. Let me grab a uh, internal measurement, or actually I should be able to, yeah, I'll just kind of grab a, a quick internal measurement off the whole size here. Um, oh, no, four millimeter, it looks like. Uh, I'm grabbing the uh, the minor diameter there, so I'm guessing 3.5 to 4 millimeter. Uh, actually, okay, that, that sparked a neuron. Uh, it is uh, four millimeter is uh, what they come with. Um, so it's totally too small, too anemic. By the time you you put enough, you know, uh, torque on it, the, the uh, yeah, it starts to yield. So uh, quarter twenty is what I put in here. Um, this way you can put on a properly sized lug. These are 105 amp hours. You know, you, you yeah. Um, you'll see in my videos I show the various lug sizes I was using before. But here with this, you know, quarter 20, um, this will accept uh, two 8-gauge wires, I believe. Uh, is this a number 4? Yeah, yep. So it's for a 4-gauge wire, um, which, yeah, in my application, I can stick two 8-gauge wires in there. <clears throat> but anyhow, so, you know, I just, uh, let me go up here a little bit. I just put this in there. and. Uh, there we go. Right down in. No. Yep. It's steel on steel. So it's not galling the aluminum. And then I can give it a proper. There we go. No yielding going on there. That is tight. That's like. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Why they do this with four millimeter is beyond my comprehension. That's not going anywhere. So it can be done. Okay. Um, and I will show you how I did it. With that being said, <laughs> I would say, yeah, that is your 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 last, you know, your your option of, of final resort is helical because you screw up on the helicoiling helicoiling process you can no longer connect anything and yeah the battery is pretty much useless to you it took a while you'll notice i think three shirt changes during the course of these uh videos uh yeah it took three days not three days in total but uh yeah especially the tapping that had to be done slow and you know with a a focus you know, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, just, it, it, yep. Um, it basically I had to have the, uh, the hands of a surgeon and the patience of a saint. Um, it was challenging. Eh, Martin, say not a problem, but challenging. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. So it can be done. And yeah, and then when you're done, you know, this this with the helicoil can be done and undone probably a gazillion times, and you're not going to wear that helicoil out. Um, and you can put good torque on it. I will note, don't over torque these things, okay? With the small ones, it's not possible to over torque them to where you can damage the battery, and maybe that's why they do what they do. Um, but with these, this larger quarter 20, it would, you know, it is possible um, because internally this is in like a little plastic kind of bracket. It would be possible to over torque this to the point to where this maybe would shift inside the cell. That would be bad because this is where your, you know, prismatic, individual prismatic uh, cells all are kind of welded on to here. So yeah, you, you want to use some common sense. So you, you kind of hold on to your, uh, there you go. You kind of hold on to it. And okay, there it's a little bit snug. And then I just kind of cinch it up a little. And there, done. That is a quality connection. That's not 
everything going anywhere, see? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so, <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. Um, enjoy. Sorry the videos are so long. Sorry I talk to so damn much. Sorry I don't do creative editing, you know. And now he's drilling the holes and do it at two times speed. No. You guys do that. I don't have the time for it, okay? If you don't know, you look at the sign behind me, Input Inc., the Johnny Five Robot from the Short Circuit movies. I have so much crap to do. Fabrication, design, um, assembly, just thinking shit up, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this was one of those headaches I, I you know, that I didn't need with the bat, you know, with this. Um, but it, it's one of those, yeah, challenges that you run across. Uh, improvise, adapt, overcome, you know. Uh, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade, you know, if that's <laughs> a better way of putting it for you. So there you go. Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, saying bye for now. Uh, if you watch the rest of the videos, this, this one just shows you it can be done. And the results, the final results, the rest of the videos are going to show you what process I went through to arrive at this end result. So it's up to you to, to view videos, I guess, two and three, maybe four, depending upon how I slice and dice the videos. So, all right, talk to you later. Have a good one. Go build something cool. And as always, the monkey pushes the button.